hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for clicking on this video and thank you for tuning into my channel i really appreciate it today guys i'll be telling you three reasons your relationship may be failing i'm telling you probably you've not thought about it in that direction now let's go first of all i want you to understand that these are not the only reasons people's relationship can fail or these are not the only reasons people's relationship may be failing there may be people with even these issues but probably their relationship is not failing but this may be the reason your own relationship is about failing or this may be the reason you feel your relationship is failing now let's go into it one you don't know your partner's love language and you don't want you don't care to know you don't know your partner's love language and you've probably not really made efforts to know you've not taken the time to know what your partner's love language is this is a very important point i'm telling you in a lot of relationships or marriages you see this is one of the major problems that exists between couples because they may not really know that what they are looking out for is love languages, but that is what it is. You see this person feeling unloved. You see the other person feeling unloved. Why? The person is not loving them in the way they understand love. So maybe the person is loving them in the way they think that they should love them, but the person is not yet speaking their love language. Now, uh, I don't know, you may be watching this video, I don't really know what love language is. You don't really know what it's all about. Just click on this link you can see up here in the screen now. I made a video on love languages, an in-depth video on what love languages are all about. I made a detailed video about love language. Just click on that link and you will understand. Now, one, like I said, some people's relationship today are almost crumbling because they don't know their partners love language and they don't really care to know if you are loving your partner it's very important that you love them in their own love language not your own love language why they understand love in their own love language for example you may be with someone that values quality time a lot but you are the person that believes in probably just giving gifts without really spending quality time now they may appreciate your gifts but if you don't spend that quality time with them they may feel highly unloved even tending towards depression and probably you will feel that you're doing everything to buy to get things to provide for them yet they don't appreciate it why what they need mostly is your quality time it doesn't mean they don't appreciate your gifts but they actually need you to spend time with them they need to feel your presence so one of the reasons your relationship may be crumbling is that you don't know your partner's love language and you don't even care to know. Now, the second reason your relationship may be crumbling is that you know your partner's love language, but you are not loving them in their love language. This is the difference between the first point and the second point. The first point is you don't know their love language and you don't even care to know. But this time around, your relationship may be crumbling because you actually know your partner's love language. You know this is what they like. This is what this is the way they want to be loved. But you are not loving them that way. That can be frustrating. It can be very frustrating. When someone knows that actually you know that this is what you will do and they will be loved. This is what you will do and they will, they will feel very much loved. But you, for whatever reason, whether deliberately or out of lack of being very caring, you are not loving them in their love language. That's going to be very detrimental to your relationship because your partner may know that you know their love language, but it looks like you deliberately don't want to love them in their love language, which, which doesn't pass a good message at all. It can be disheartening, it can cause strife in your relationship, and it can make the other partner feel very frustrated. Yes. That is the second reason. Remember the first one, you don't know your partner's love language and you don't care to know. The second one, you actually know your partner's love language. But for whatever reason, whether it's deliberately or not, you are not loving them in their love language. That is bad. These things can make your relationship fall apart. It can make your relationship crumble. Now, this is the third point. You are loving your partner in their love language but they are not loving you in your love language. Or probably your partner is loving you in your own love language, but you are not loving your partner in their love language. 
now this is it one person is doing it right while the other person is doing it wrongly the other person is not even be probably making effort to do it right and that is why it's very important that when two people are in a relationship or marriage they they work towards the relationship goals together one person cannot be putting in all the effort trying to see that i love this person rightly and the other person is not really making effort to see that at least they love the person right. It's just like a case of where one partner is faithful and the other one is unfaithful. It doesn't work, it doesn't work that way. Such a relationship over time will get strained if and if possible fall apart. So now you this third point is one person is loving the other person in his or her love language, why the other person is not loving the other person in their love language. This is selfish. You may not really see that we, but it is totally not right. I mean, how can one person be to, take the effort to know what your love language is and at least try to love you rightly in that way you understand love, in your love language. And you, on the other hand, you're not making that effort. It is not right. It is selfish of you and it should not be done. When people are in a relationship, both of them should work hand in hand to see that that relationship progresses. One person shouldn't be selfish. One person shouldn't just be at the end, like one person shouldn't just be there without making efforts. Okay, people love just the same way love is um, just the same way respect is reciprocal. A lot of things are reciprocal in relationships. When you love, when someone loves you rightly, love them rightly, except you are not really interested in your relationship being the best. If you are not interested in having a beautiful relationship, you're not interested in having a relationship that will be worthy of emulation, you are not interested in having a peaceful relationship, then you can remain selfish. But if you know you really want to have a beautiful relationship, then both of you should get interested in each other's lives. Like, find out each other's love languages and love each other in each other's love language. It shouldn't only come from one Person. Yes, guys, these are the three points I have mentioned. First of all, you don't know your partner's love language and you don't care to know. Secondly, you know your partner's love language, but you don't want to love them that way. Thirdly, one person knows the other person's love language and is loving them in their love language while the other person is not doing that. Okay? Why the other person probably doesn't even know the other person's love language or is just not doing that. So these are the things that can make your relationship fall apart. Today's video is centered around love languages. There are a whole lot of other things that can make a relationship fail. There are a lot of other things that can make a relationship fall apart. But then today we are concentrating on love languages and this is what we've come up with. I want you to sit, I want you to take time, think about your relationship. What is the usual complaint? What does your partner complain about the most? You don't call, you're not always calling, you're not always around. Okay, fine. Or maybe the person is like, ah, you don't even buy me things, you don't buy me gifts. When last did you buy me a gift? When last did you take me out? All these things are pointers towards the way the person wants you to love them. And instead of you to start complaining, you are always complaining, I've done all I can do, and all that. What you should do, do is, wow. The one I'm doing doesn't really speak love to this person. Why don't I adapt this method this person wants? And love, after all, why you are in that relationship is to love the other person and the other person love you back. So why would you be doing it wrongly? When the other person's complain is giving you idea of how to love them and they will feel happy and they will feel satisfied. And the truth about it is if your partner feels loved, if your partner is happy, you yourself will enjoy life better. I'm telling you the basic truth. You see people that are in toxic relationships, people that are in troublesome relationships, no matter how they pretend to be happy, it can't be compared to the joy and the peace that we have. When their partner is happy with them, when their partner feels loved, when their partner feels secured in them, and I mean, things are just going well. It even elongates a person's lifestyle, or it's, let's say it adds to the quality of a person's life. You live a life that is just good. Is trouble, peace is always far better than trouble. Love is far better than hate. And being faithful is far better than being unfaithful. You give yourself peace of mind, you give yourself joy, and just you are fine. So I hope you implement this in your relationships, and I hope it works out for you. Thank you for watching this video. Feel free to send it to your partner or watch it along with your partner because, I mean, if both of you can implement this, trust me, I believe there will be a positive turnaround in your relationship. 
Thank you for watching. See you in another video. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section. See you next time. Bye.